Hi and welcome to Automatech's Watch and Learn series video. Today we'll be talking about how to install and set up iFix software. I am your host, Franco Patron. I'm one of the support application engineers at Automatech. A couple things that we will go over in this video is how to install iFix, how to install a SIM, setting up project paths, and basic workspace functionality and security. To begin, you're going to download the iFix ISO from either our box website or from the GE customer portal. Hit install iFix 6.1. It's going to ask for a licensing agreement. Hit the complete button next and install. I'm just going to start the install process for iFix. Once that wraps up, I'd select SCADA and then Networked. If you are going to be using the SCADA system in a network environment, we can skip this step for now. That's just establishing your remote nodes. You don't need to have them set up at this time. Yes, you want to work through firewall and it's going to install some other components pretty quickly. You don't have to view the release notes. It's up to you. Once the machine is back up and running, you're going to go and install the SIMS. This should be the first thing you do after installing iFix software. I recommend installing every single one that is up at the time. And it's the exact same motion for each one. I'm going to extract it. Select one of them, run. Look through the wizard. And once you're finished, you go to the next one and just complete this process for every single one. Better be safe than sorry now, as I recommend everyone should be installed. We won't go through every SIM install as they are all the same. This is just to give you an idea of what the process looks like. It may ask you to restart your machine after this. Once you're finished setting up the sims, you're gonna go ahead and create your own project directory. We like to make them different from the uh, generic project directory that comes installed with iFix. It's better for organization, better for project migration. Um, we always recommend it. So I'm gonna create a projects folder on the C drive. I'm gonna put in my name of the project I'll be using. Save as, I'm going to save the SEU file to the project location. Now this next step is pretty important. You're going to select no. You want to make sure that you select the correct responses for each of these boxes as it can mess up your project. So we're now we're going to go to the path configuration of the SEU. This tells you where you would like to put your new project files. We're going to go over here and select one box. Scroll down to that projects folder that we created. Demo, that's the name of the project. You can go hit change project. Would you like to create default files? Yes, hit OK. Create all. Proceed, hit OK. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna spin up for a little bit. It may look like it's not working, but what it's doing is it's developing all those project files 
you need for your project to run in the new folder location. From here, file save. And now here there's a configuration tab. You can go through these if there's any other features you want to add right away. Um, I'm not going to do that this time, but it's good just to take a look at them. Next, we're going to make a shortcut for our project. First, you want to select the node name and type it in. Then we're going to look for the SEU file you made right away when you started creating the project location. Give it a unique name, that way you can find it. And it's going to be right on your desktop. So you don't have to go into iFix Startup to do it every single time and, and change the configuration around. You can just use the shortcut icon and it'll start up your project automatically. This is the workspace. It is a task that is already pre-configured inside your SCU under the Tasks tab. Um, this is where you do most of your configuration and pictures. And Again, you can go to your SCU from here, go to Tasks. Just a quick example, if you wanted to add one, you go to the ellipsis on the right. You find the EXE you'd like to run. For instance, I'm looking for the Historian Collector one. So I'm going to go down over here and look for the IH Fix Collector. Hit Open. Hit Add. Hit OK. File Save. Always Save. And you're good to go. Again, from here you can go into your database manager. Because it's an empty project, we don't really have any tags to show you. But just an example. For basic security configuration, what I like to do is create a master key account. So from here I'm going to go to the small little man, hit add. Put Franco in, because that's my name. Easy password to remember. If it doesn't take admin, we can go ahead and just change it to Franco, but you want to make sure you add all the selections for everything. And what this is going to do is make an account that way you can log in no matter what. Um, some people like to call it a master key like myself. We type the password so you know it's right. Hit OK. Enable security. And that security path can be changed if needed. Um, it's up to you where you want to configure it. File save, hit OK, log in. And that wraps up how to install and set up iFix software. If you have any more questions, we do offer a iFix training course. If you have any questions on that, you reach out to your account rep or email us at support at Thank you and have a wonderful day.